everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Interstellar Modeler. So I'm going to begin now the process of putting this uh, model together. This is the Colonial Viper from Mobius. And the first step will be to work on the cockpit. So um, as I mentioned in my earlier video, I am going to install this photo etch set here. And the first step is to remove the detailing. And uh, that's simply to allow a smoother surface to uh, give uh, better adherence to the uh, plating that we're going to install. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is with a Dremel tool. And um, by the way, a Dremel is something that you might, might want to uh, look into investing uh, because it does make a, f a number of things easier, um, particularly projects like this. And uh, this one in particular has the cord. There are newer models now that are uh, cordless, um, so that would be nice not to have the cord. But this one still works pretty well for me, so I am not going to be uh, buying a new one anytime soon. Um, I did buy this uh, little handle here that you can screw onto the uh, uh, front of the Dremel just to uh, provide some better handling here. And uh, the tool I'm going to be using here is this grinding stone. I know it's probably made for sharpening and those types of things, but it has a, uh, a pointed tip that will allow me to get into some of these crevices here. So one other thing you might want to look into uh, if you do purchase a Dremel is to get some accessories for it. Now this um, kit is a bit of overkill. Uh, because I've really not used a lot of this stuff here. But I found it at Costco. I'm not sure how often they carry this uh, at Costco, um, but um, it came with a ton of different uh, accessories. Um, and um, the ones I've used are the drill bits. Um, I've used the saws, uh, which are pretty nice. And then um, some of these uh, sanding accessories as well. Um, some of this other stuff I've just really not had the opportunity or the need to use, um, but uh, you know it came with the whole set and it uh, wasn't terribly expensive. So you don't have to get anything like this per se, but um, it is nice to have some um, accessories to uh, use with your Dremel. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Dremel tool here to grind away this detailing and uh, using this pointy tip, I'm just going to apply it kind of a, a low to medium speed here. Actually, let me go ahead and speed it up a little bit more. Uh, and this might be obvious to you, is to add further detail to your kit. Uh, you can imagine if uh, the manufacturer would try to add this in plastic or to mold this piece this way, it would probably be cost prohibitive and difficult. So uh, photo etch um, sets are a great way and affordable way to add that detailing to your model kit. So in general, they come um, uh, attached to a template like you see here. Uh, Paragraphics is one of the bigger manufacturers out there and they do provide very good quality products so I'd highly recommend them. Um, and the pieces come attached as you see here that you have to now separate. Um, and um, so 
I saw on YouTube that someone was using uh, this method, and I think it works great. Uh, you take an old DVD or CD um, and tape it down. And uh, what this is going to provide is a more firm surface to cut against. So essentially, all you do is you take your uh, X-Acto knife here. Just bear with me, I have to kind of switch hands here. Uh, so you take your X-Acto knife and you just apply pressure um, along these attachments here and you separate um, the uh, piece like so. Okay, and then once you do so, you will find, however, there will be a little excess metal uh, along the edge here. If you try to trim real close, you won't have too much of it, but there usually is some uh, excess metal. And uh, so then you can take a file uh, to get rid of that. Or one thing that I've been doing with this kit is just running my Dremel on a lower speed here. And against this stone, I would just place the piece and it just grinds the nub away. All right, so, uh, so that's working out pretty well. Now, one thing I should point out is that um, these pieces are very straightforward, right, because they're flat. Uh, but you do have these panels here that you actually have to bend. And uh, you can see here that uh, you have to bend them at these different um, locations. And, um, and you'll find there are a number of uh, different kits that um, uh, you get that uh, there's a lot of that that you have to do. Um, and you can purchase a straight edge that is made for bending photo etch sets. In fact, if you Google that, you'll find all kinds out there. Um, I have yet to purchase anything like that. Um, I probably will eventually. Uh, but uh, what I did, and I wish I had um, shown this on video, or captured it on video, is I just use the straight edge of a screwdriver here. And you just apply a gentle pressure um, along that um, edge where you need to bend it. And uh, you gently just kind of bend the piece so that you can get um, the type of contour that you need. Okay? So um, some of them are very straightforward. Others you have to bend this way. And uh, you can buy special in um, instruments to help you do that. Now once you're uh, ready to attach the um, piece, uh, you use super glue to do so, and then you prime it and paint it like you uh, typically would any other piece. Alright, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move forward and uh, do that with this piece here, and uh, show you when that's completed, and then I'll probably end the video there and start another one as I continue to build this uh, Mobius Colonial Viper. Alright, so I will see you when this is completed. All right, so here we have the completed cockpit. It's now been painted, and uh, the graphics are now in place. Um, one thing I did want to point out here first is that uh, if you'll notice, underneath the main view screen here, uh, there is a, uh, an opening there that um, shows these three little graphics, and there actually should be a brass piece there as well. Uh, but I left that off, um, and it's one thing that if you work with this, um, with this uh, uh, photo etch kit, I would install that first before putting this uh, big uh, front piece into place because it was just too difficult to maneuver it in there and it just was not going to look right so I left it off. Um, luckily this is in a lower position so um, I'm hoping you'll even be able to see it and even the um, pilot's legs might even cover most of that so uh, that's the one piece that is missing there. Otherwise I'm very happy with the way uh, it all turned out here. So let me show you the underside, which uh, isn't as pretty, and you can see all the areas that have been cut out here. And uh, when you apply these graphics, you do, you do need to put them right next to the brass photo etched piece. Um, so you do have to leave enough room as you cut these sections out. And then when you uh, put the graphics into place, you have to trim them uh, close enough so that um, um, you're, you trim next to the graphic. But uh, you do have to leave a little bit of room. Um, alongside so that you can apply your adhesive. Okay, So it was uh, a little tricky to get uh, these trimmed and put into place here, uh, but everything did turn out quite nicely, so I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking. Now as for the adhesive, what I used was this canopy glue. It's essentially a white glue uh, that, gri that uh, um, dries clear, and um, so it worked out pretty good. Um, and there's this one little area here um, this little square area right in the very corner. Uh, it was extremely difficult to get a graphic in there because I just didn't trim enough away. So what I did was I, was I used the uh, canopy glue to fill that area and as you can see it dried clear. So um, it at least covers that, uh, that opening. And I haven't yet decided but I think what I'll do is uh, apply a clear color uh, such as maybe this uh, clear red color um, 
That way it just doesn't look like a, um, a white light when I light up the, the uh, cockpit here. Now, one tool I did want to point out here that I thought was critical um, when you work with these graphics is it's important to have um, some really fine tweezers. Um, and this is one I got at my local hobby store. And it does allow you to um, handle and maneuver the graphics and putting uh, allows you to uh, put them into place with a little more ease because there's just no way you can get in there with your fingers. So um, again, it's important to have the right tools um, handy so that you can uh, work with these sorts of pieces. Um, and uh, something like this is, is pretty critical. All right, so that's it for now, and uh, I'll go ahead and end this video here and start another one as I continue this build. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Um, again, I would recommend this photo etch set. I think it works pretty nicely. As you can see, it adds quite a lot of detail here to your cockpit. All right, so as usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.